There isn't really a whole lot to say about this whiskey other than it should always be on your shelf as a regular drinker. Let's drink some whiskey. Welcome to Whiskey and Whiskey. I'm the Whiskey Chase O'Brien here in Christie's Bar, Kilkenny. I hope your week has been superb. It should be on your shelf at all times. Simple. End of story. No need for further explanation. I could probably and quite literally leave the video there. Show you a picture and sign off. Go home. That's not really like me though. Let's dive in a little. This is the Redbreast 12 year old Irish single pot still whiskey from Irish Distillers. I personally often get asked by people new to the Irish whiskey world, Brian, what would you recommend to someone who wants to try Irish whiskey for the first time? And generally speaking, there are only one or two whiskies that I would suggest that are readily available nearly everywhere and are highly regarded as some of the best Irish whiskies in the world. Nine times out of 10, this is one of the bottles that I'd recommend. It's not bad value. It's absolutely delicious, available nearly everywhere. It's won tons and tons of awards. It's undeniably Irish and has a great history to it. It's recognizable and it's damn good. I mean, how could you not recommend this? And look, I'm not big upping the brand by any means. It genuinely is all of that stuff. And even the most seasoned whiskey veteran or enthusiast would say the same thing. Although some would possibly edge towards its cast strength cousin, which keep an eye on the channel, I will do a video on that. But value-wise, not bad. Generally speaking, around the 60 euro mark, considering this is a 12-year-old pot still Irish whiskey finished in sherry butts and bourbon, actually, technically, it's not bad. A little history, you say? Come on, man. Uh, this is not the first time that I've actually spoken about a Redbreast whiskey on the channel. I've done a full video review on one of their single casks as well, I believe, as their limited edition 10-year-old release, card above. And you can check out that video where I got a full and in-depth history to the brand and its humble beginnings. Now, Redbreast Irish Whiskey is produced in Middleton County, Cork, and is a product of Irish distillers. A long, long time ago, formerly known as WNA Gilby, who were wine and spirit merchants operating in Dublin at the turn of the 20th century, who had of leftover wine casks that they would then bring to Jameson's Bow Street Distillery and have filled with new make spirit. It was around 1903 when a whiskey known as John Jameson and Sons Castle JJ Liquor Whiskey was being marketed by Gilby's. It is said that this was a likely forerunner to Redbreast Whiskey. It wasn't until actually 1912 that the first official reference to Redbreast Whiskey was seen when Gilby's marketed a Redbreast JJ Liquor Whiskey 12 year old. And it is said that the name from which we know now came from the chairman of Gilby's who was a bird watcher enthusiast. Obviously it's reference the Robin Redbreast. It's kind of obvious. So in 1968 here in Ireland, Irish distillers decided to phase out the supply of bonded whiskey to merchants like Gilby's, which obviously put the brand under a little bit of serious pressure, actually a lot of pressure. In fact, it was so much pressure, Gilby's basically begged Irish distillers to continue to supply them with the distillate for the production of Redbreast. We jump up a little bit to the 1970s and Irish distillers decided to close down all of its Dublin distilleries and consolidate production to the new Middleton distillery in Middleton County, Cork. So basically, long story short, in 1985, Gilby ceased production of Redbreast and sold off the brand name to Irish Distillers. It would actually be 1991 before Redbreast would be relaunched and seen again on Irish shelves. Uh, since its release in 1991, there's been a number of additions to the core range. We have you know, this one, obviously. We also have its cast strength cousin uh, version of this, a 15 year old, a Lustau version, a 21 year old, which is one of my personal favorites. And more recently added to the lineup is a 27 year old port ranged addition to the core range. Um, and I will be reviewing every single one of those whiskeys on this channel. So do make sure that you're subscribed and turn the notifications on so you can view those videos when I have them ready to to go. I'll make an individual playlist for them too. Yeah, because I'm nice like that. Make it easy on you. Uh, just an FYI before we drink it, Redbreast is the largest selling single pot still Irish whiskey in the world. Write that down for yourself somewhere. So consider yourself up to date. 
Let's do some drinking. Now, as I previ previously had mentioned, this is a 12-year-old Irish single pot still whiskey that has been aged in Oloroso sherry and bourbon cast before being bottled at 40% ABV, typically speaking in or around the 60 euro mark. And it has undergone some serious design enhancements to the labeling and the bottle and the box in recent times. This is a, this is a new style wine. Beautiful. On the nose. Lovely, vibrant caramel, toffee. You get that dried fruits note uh, that really Red Breast is just famous for. Touches of a little bit of the pot still spices coming through that. Woody, nutty, complex. Uh, that caramel, you know, the kind of sugary notes coming through, toasted wood. It's exceptional. It's really, really exceptional. Mm. It's not yet. Lovely, rich, oily on the palate. Lovely dried fruits, roasted nuts. You get your spices coming through, your pot still spices. Very, very full flavor. I think I said it was silky, kind of oily mouthfeel. You know, it's very approachable, fruity. You get your obvious notes from your sherry. Oh, just that lovely pot still spices. The red breast sherry notes, so typical to the brand. Lovely, long, complex finish. It evolves over time. No bitterness, no sharpness, no dullness, no boringness. Exciting flavors. Ah, certainly, absolutely, and most definitely not my most favorite in the range, but undeniably delicious. Well produced and exquisite whiskey that will be enjoyed by any kind of enthusiast or budding enthusiast, or just those that want to try something different than their regular scotch or bourbon, if they haven't tried this already. What I do love about the Red Breast Whiskey in general is that when they do something, they always, always do it right. Well, for the most part, I know there was a bit of history. We won't go into that, but it always tends to be out of this world. And some of my all time favorite whiskeys come from the brand. And it's so easy to see why. It's just quality. It's a quality whiskey. Now, if you have had a chance to try this, let me know your thoughts below. Did it hit the spot for you? Is it a regular everyday drinker for you? It, does it make a special spot on your shelf? Let me know. As always, shout out to the lads here at Christie's who have kindly supplied this dram for me today. Um, as always, all thoughts are my own. I'm not influenced by any outside parties. I do hope you enjoyed this little tasting today and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and other social media channels. All relevant links, I don't know why I looked over there, but all relevant links are down below. So until the next time, it's obviously been a pleasure for me. Chat soon, stay safe, chase her out, sláinte.